I really wanted to work for myself and break free from what I was doing. I want to live where I want to live, I want to wear what I want to wear, and I want to be able to go and get my kid from nursery without having to ask permission. I didn't have any money. Um, my only real savings were in a car, so I sold the car. It put me on the bus going to meetings, but it just meant I had some capital I could put into the business. So, yeah, I begged and borrowed, really. Who had turned down a local product that used local botanicals and was made down the road? Got things like gorse flowers from the clifftops of Bournemouth and marsh samphire from Bore Harbour. It's a great feeling that you know, the sun, the sea, and salt and fresh air is kind of what keeps all those flowers alive and they end up in the gym. And I've had people turn around to me and say, I have tastes of, of Dorset. And the best thing about working for yourself is the freedom to make your own choices about the business and how you live your life, but also what you wear. I'm still smart, but I just wear the things that better represent me. Just been overwhelmed with how positively people uh, respond to the gin and respond to our brand and what we're trying to do, which is amazing because it really is a sort of an, know, a kind of embodiment of the local area and where I grew up. People say to me, um, it's really brave what I did, and I can see why they use that word, and it, and, and it was really tough. However, for me, brave is spending a lifetime doing a job you don't want to do. Well, that's brave. <laughs> <laughs>